U.S. Food and Drug Administration continues its push for dangerous chemical abortion drugs, rejecting a recent appeal from the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists for better oversight and regulation of the pills. This dismissal comes the same week the FDA confirmed it is changing its rules to allow pharmacies to distribute chemical abortion drugs. With the national change, CVS and Walgreens confirming now that they will seek approval to distribute these drugs, there's little doubt that other pharmacies are watching to see how the wind blows. So how should we respond to all of this? Joining me now to discuss the latest on this and more is Roger Severino. He's vice president of domestic policy at the Heritage Foundation. He also previously served as the director of the HHS Office of Civil Rights in the Trump administration. Roger, welcome back to Washington Watch. Glad to have you. Thank you, Congressman. Well, listen, uh, this is all uh, a baffling issue uh, for us to get our heads around. Uh, but the FDA, the, the process for its rules and regulations pertaining to chemical abortions, uh, seems to be at odds with how uh, cautious the agency uh, seems to be with other regulations. Uh, wouldn't you agree with that? It seems to be a double standard here. Well, it's worse than that. This is putting politics over science and women's health. This was a drug that was approved first 20 years ago under some strict guidelines. A doctor had to be present. They had to make sure that the woman who wanted the abortion would meet with the doctor before it was prescribed, would be able to find out if there's an ectopic pregnancy or contraindications. And 28 women, 28 women have died with these dangerous chemical abortion drugs. Yet now the Biden administration, for purely political reasons, is turning it into like a vitamin. They want to make CVS and Walgreens dispending these things, these dangerous drugs uh, with very little oversight whatsoever. All they need is a prescription from an abortionist without any in-person visit. It could be done by Zoom, by a telephone call, and then you could get your abortion drugs. And this is dangerous for women. It's turning our local CVS and Walgreens into abortion clinics. This is terrible for our culture, not to mention the thousands of innocent human babies whose lives will be lost and mothers who will be scarred because of this dangerous change in safety protocols. Well, that is, that's some profound information. You know, one of the things, uh, Roger, that concerns me is uh, no question there will be legal issues coming about, but what about the, the situation, how this ultimately plays out with states that have some pro, uh, a strong pro-life legislation already? Mm -hmm. uh, are these chemical abortion drugs going to be allowed in these states that have pro-life legislation? And what's the legal ramifications of all of that? For, for states like Texas and others that have heartbeat or better protections, this is illegal these pharmacies cannot be dispensing these abortion chemical drugs. There's also a question as whether it violates federal law, because we have federal laws on the book, books that prevent the interstate trafficking in abortion drugs. It's very clear. So these pharmacists are pulling themselves at tremendous risk. But th where is this all coming from? It's coming from the Biden administration answering to the radical pro-abortion base. That's it. Had the Dobbs decision not happened, we wouldn't be having this this mockery of the law happening right now. Because Dobbs happened, all of a sudden they pressured FDA to allow dispensing of these dangerous drugs at your local corner pharmacy when it had never been happened, it had never been allowed before. This is pure politics taking over science. There is no reason whatsoever to allow people to buy these drugs based on a telephone call and stockpile them, right? Because before you had to take the drug in front of the doctor. Uh, now you could buy as many as you want in a stockpile them. Didn't we learn our lessons from the opioid crisis? What happens when you put these dangerous drugs into the stream of commerce without oversight? It's going to be abused. We'll have women die as a result of this, not to mention the violation of state pro-life laws. Uh, well, one of the things we certainly learned, to, uh, learned from history is that we don't learn from history. And I hope you're uh, not accurate, but I'm afraid that we are headed down the exact path that you just described. What, what about uh, conscience protection for pro-life pharmacists? I mean, here we have some uh, Walgreens, CVS, or, or, and, and others. What about the, uh, the, the conscience protections for pharmacists? Are they going to be bypassed as well? And, 
and these individuals forced to sell a drug that they don't want to participate in selling. Well, I had the honor of enforcing the Church Amendment at HHS as head of the Office for Civil Rights. That prevents employers from firing doctors who cannot in good conscience prescribe abortion pills. Unfortunately, that law is enforced only by HHS, and now is dominated by Secretary Becerra, who was an abortion radical. He was in my crosshairs when I was enforcing conscience laws, and he was Attorney General of California, and now he is the fox guarding the hen house. They are not enforcing conscious protection laws whatsoever. It is shameful, and that's why we need things like the Conscious Protection Act to be passed by Congress so that individual pharmacists who are being forced to assist in the taking of human life will get protection and could go to federal court and sue their employers. Uh, I, I would imagine Walgreens and CVS are going to push. They already announced they're going to be doing this abortion pill handouts in their pharmacies. They're probably going to force their employees to go along with it. And they should be held accountable to federal law if they do. Wow. Well, I, I couldn't agree more. And listen, we appreciate you joining us and keeping us up to speed on this. Uh, and this is something Christians ought to prepare, at least start thinking about potentially they taking their businesses. They should be protesting. They should be protesting in front of their protesting. former pharmacists. Absolutely. And considering taking their business elsewhere.